More ancient history jewelry stories. Well, May babies, we have come to the end of Emerald Month. This is going to be our last video on May birthstones, but we get two birthstone videos this week because tomorrow, somehow, is already the start of June. Throughout this month's videos, I mentioned quite a few times that emeralds came from the still functional Muzo mine in Colombia. Most of you probably have no idea what that means. So I thought we could use the last day in May to talk about this incredibly important, historically significant emerald mine. Muzo is a town in Colombia. It's a little ways north of the center of the country. This part of Colombia is famed for its exceptional quality emeralds. And the mines within the town of Muzo have been in use since at least 1000 CE, but most likely going as far back as 500 CE. The company that currently owns and operates the mine, which is called the Muzo Companies, claims that the mine dates back to at least 400 BCE, although I can't find any concrete evidence for this, so I'm going to stick with the more generally accepted 500 CE estimate. Pre-Columbian indigenous people of this area were also called the Muzo, and they were known by their neighbors as the Emerald People. The story of this mine goes about as well as you think it would. The Spanish, upon learning that there were valuable emeralds to be found within this part of Colombia, fought the Muzo people in order to gain control of the mines. It took four violent attempts to subdue the Muzo people, who fought back very valiantly and defeated the Spanish the first three times. After the Spanish conquest of the Muzo people, they took over the mines and enslaved the indigenous people to work in emerald production. The majority of these Muzo emeralds were stolen from Colombia by the Spanish and shipped back to Europe, where there was a feeding frenzy amongst the wealthy aristocracy who had an insatiable taste for Colombian emeralds. If you watched some of my previous Birthstone videos this month, then you will note that these emeralds are much finer and a lot more transparent than the ones that had been found closer to Europe. Namely, the emeralds that had been mined for so many thousands of years in Egypt. The Muzo mine is still very much operational today. It is still producing some of the finest emeralds the world has ever seen. And in fact, 75% of the municipal income of the town of Muzo is still emerald production. Despite Colombia gaining independence in the early 19th century, the mines were still under control of European forces for almost 200 years. It wasn't until very recently that production and ownership of the mine went back into the hands of the Colombian people. 